Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F Bomb here, Nick Browink, and welcome back to Mass Effect and Dramada. -da -da. <clears throat> Today, we're going to continue our single player let's play. It's going to be a shorter episode. We have some things I've been pushing off on the uh, Hyperion, the ship that you start on, and uh, I want to get them out of the way. I'm not. Me, myself, I'm not ready to do Kadara yet. I mean, the crew and Ryder and all of our characters are totally ready to do Kadara. And maybe you, as the viewers, have been waiting forever for me to do Kadara. But I want to get this out of the way. Um, some of it seems interesting. And potentially I could watch another uh, memory fragment. Because I know I've gotten a couple. I've gotten three or four. Maybe five. Yeah, you know, I don't know. If you've been watching the series, you know better than I do because uh, we've been streaming this in like ridiculously spaced out segments. So you guys know better because it comes out a little more frequent on the channel than I actually stream it. So hey, that's always cool. Um, so we're gonna go talk to Sam. I think we have a couple things to say. I might be right outside of Sam's office. Not his office. Ugh. More, uh, yeah. His node. Welcome back, Ryder. I don't think I feel like I've done these, but I don't think I have. I take it you're based here in Sam Node. Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. All right, my implant. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do Ooh. while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed <laughs> the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Other questions, just be careful. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. <laughs> Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. Mm. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Nice. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our nice. design was conducted in secret. So yeah, tell us what there are. There are more. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. Hell yeah, we got the best. Yes. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The yeah. bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Yeah, but the difference between the flower and the bee is that the flowers become colorful. They became colorful over time, so that way bees and birds would be attracted to them and take their stuff and pollinate further. That's called coevolution, not a symbiotic relationship. That's all for now. Of course. So you actually know something about that. Booyah! All right. Oh, I can't look at his other stuff. This might be a real short episode, but uh, our dad's computer has so much stuff. Your father's personal logs. Yep, the general logs. We didn't actually check these out. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Yeah. 
Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. <laughs> All right. What? Oh, there's, I only have one? Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara Tassoni. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty oh. sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Wait, isn't... isn't Liara... Uh, the girl from Mass Effect? Like, the, the, the 1, 2, and 3? Shit, I think that's her. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. That is her! I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work. But I'm young, and Asari, and they are getting older. <laughs> so we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Cool. What else you gotta say? Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. Aww. There is so much about the Protheans I still much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Damn, it wouldn't be cool if she came. All right, final entry. Yeah. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat Seven. I'm gearing up now. Oh. I'm worried about Sarah. Doctor Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often, or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids. If anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Oh, man. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Mm. He really was just trying to get Sam working for Mom. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. <laughs> right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. <laughs> anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping wow. things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. <laughs> Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> That's cute. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. That's crazy, man. Oh, Shadow Broker deal. Ryder, Barla Bond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had. Provided you can pay, especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Now, isn't Liara the Shadow Broker? Is it, or is that optional because that's DLC? That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. 
damn it. Okay. So I didn't have as much an audio excerpt. Have I done this? I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Okay. So I guess I haven't listened to this one then. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises hey. the question, when is a species truly extinct? Hmm. The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. All right. Let's see. Now I've checked that. Dad's bed. So I guess... Oh, no. This one. I don't think I've listened to when studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible oh, network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Can we take a second to talk about how the 2D of those rocks? That is so bad. Alright, but that was all pretty cool and interesting. Alright, we've talked to Sam. You know, one thing we haven't done on the ship yet is talk to the captain. I think the captain the captain's up here. Yeah, there we go. Ryder, this new station leadership I'm hearing about finally let you out of their sight? <laughs> Looks like. Took them long enough. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? Whoever is most needed for the outposts gets priority. You know, the big win will be when we're able to wake up entire families at once. Yeah. <sighs> That's when I'll know things have taken a turn for the better. That's pretty true. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. What was that? Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. Mm. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, man. Why did you join the Initiative? Yeah. We're a long way from Touching home. It. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? All right, cool. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Now let's see if she's got something else to say. Good job with the Prodromos outpost, Pathfinder. Ready to wake up a batch of colonists and send them down there. It'll be nice to see their excitement when they realize this is really happening. All right. It sounds like thanks for the she's talk. got a couple things to say to sure us because we haven't talked to her in forever. Ryder, one of the Angaran delegates was here for a tour. A first contact already. Who'd have thought? They seemed nice. Of course, that's how diplomats are supposed to seem. <laughs> okay. Is there one more? Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Welcome back, Ryder. Need anything? Nope, okay. Thanks for the talk. So we're totally sure caught thing. up with her. Um, I'm almost out of uh, the time that I wanted to spend in this episode, that's okay, so that's Charlie. cool. I'll just hang out here. Thanks, though. Yes, What's PB busy, doing? Huh? Nah. Hey, Ryder. Taking a stroll? 
Something like that? I just wandered over from the Nexus myself. That place bores me. <laughs> yeah, too familiar. It is changing, yeah. It's not the same. There's hope now. Hope is good. I spent over a year stuck there. Well, when I wasn't exploring Eos. And I know things are getting better. More lively. But there are too many bad associations. Mm. I probably won't hang out there much. I checked. The Nexus is doing great. So we can get back out there as soon as you're done. <laughs> cool. I, you know, I didn't expect, I expect to see any of the actual crew here. So that was kind of nice. Uh, interesting. And I don't think anyone else wants to talk. What I could do is fly all over the, the, the goddamn place. And, uh... Put those, like... Computer thing system stuffs. That was English. Uh... For the radio show. But I think I'll do that another time. Maybe... Maybe I'll do it now. Get it out of the way. Eva. Oh! She's, my cat just attacked my leg. Man, you're hungry. Alright, so we'll get on the ship. We'll fly. Oh, we'll do those two things, I guess. Yeah, board the Tempest. We still have a couple minutes. Get those out of the way. What? What? What are you looking at? I'll feed you soon. You know I'll feed you soon. Always feed the fat cat. I'm just giving my kitty some encouragement. Ah! Touching me. What? What? Alright. Ryder, Lexi was looking for you. Was she? And I better talk to Lexi. And I still didn't do the goddamn better crafting thing. Alright, so let's go to Eos. What? I'm gonna feed you. You got seven minutes. Hey, kitty. Me. <laughs> what? Why are you so cute, huh? Huh? Ow! Shit! You bit me. Pythia system, home of Eos and Padromos. Yeah, well, we're going to Padromos and Eos. Telly. Meow. You almost bit me. You're getting crazy. You're getting crazy. Ow! You bit me again. Why? Kick me. You're pulling on my carpet. <laughs> my cat's destroying my room right now. Alright. Naming the dead and boost the signal. Well, boost the signal is the one we're doing for sure. What are you doing? You ruined my carpet. Yeah, a little better. Ah. Oh shit! I didn't even see this. Uh, unequipped. We have a, a new sidewinder, actually, a more powerful one. That's gold. That's pistol damage. Oh, that's the new one too. So of course, I'm gonna select that. And then I had Pistol Barrel and Pistol Magazine 3, and Magazine 4 is right here. So why wouldn't I just put that in here? There we go. Forgot about all that. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's anything I want to craft. There is a research center. Oh, there's also the one on the ship. Dumbass. Ow. I think I'm going to end the episode going back onto the ship uh, after we go to Vold. And... Uh, finish it with some strike team missions. And then I'll be it for this episode. And then next time we'll go to Kadara, I'll try to figure out exactly what I'm doing on Kadara. I don't want to screw anything up, you know. That's important to me. Man, I forgot. I look good. What's happening? Oh, there we go. 
I forgot, dude. I look good. Suitable site for an HNS receiver pathfinder. Nav point is set. Where? Is this it? No. At the other remnant sites. All right, so I gotta do that. What the hell is this? Oh, a hidden cache. That's where the the receiver is. You know, we might, since that's a little bit of a drive, I might leave that for another episode. I think I'm going to do this now. And next time we'll go ahead and put the put the other stuff in. Because that's going to take me a couple minutes to do all that. Ow, my foot just really hurt. Holy shit, ow. What is going on? Activate. Alright, so that's it. I uploaded that, right? Alright. Everyone looks bored. Who's Vale again? Do I want to click on you? I'm sorry I came to this, Pathfinder. Remember who the hell this is? I do not remember who that is. Alright. Well, that's going to be it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm the F-Bomb. Here Nick Browing. Come back and be a friend. We love friends.